Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going to be trying to feature Sea King for Take 2. Now Sea King has basically all around average stats. Um, base 92 attack is its highest stat and then following that would be base 80 special defense and base 80 HP. So it doesn't have the best stuff going for it. However, it does have access to agility, which is pretty cool. Making it or giving it uh, access to, I guess potentially... Uh, sweeping uh, with Mega Horn and Waterfall being solid coverage uh, combined with Ice Beam. You know, it has some stuff. Mega Horn's pretty cool for Alakazam, for a weakened Mew, for a Starmie, uh, whereas Waterfall is your stab, and then Ice Beam is there basically just to, to knock out a weakened Dragonite. Dragonite has to be about 50%, and then Ice Beam can deal with it. So, Sea King isn't really the king of the sea, uh, but. If you guys missed any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, there is a playlist down below. Feel free to suggest other Pokemon you'd like to see. But of course, check out that playlist because if you see a Pokemon in the thumbnail, that means I've already featured it. Uh, also, feel free to check out the guide to team building. But yeah, let's get right into the battles, my friends. All right, so we have a tough game ahead of us, but there is potential. All right, Sea King may be able to deal with Starmie and Alakazam after agilitying up, uh, which it might be able to do on Starmie. I have to be really careful. Um, I think rocks are going to be very crucial as well. Uh... There, I just want to figure out how much I do to star me because I, I it's been a while since I I made the sea king like I like I like I've, I've seen it on my build. Shout out to my boy Hylian for passing me these Pokemon, but like I 78 to 93. Okay, so it rocks, there's, there's potential. I'm gonna have to chip away at my opponent the entire game, uh, and I need rocks up pronto for sure. Uh, so I know that my ice beam does around 50 something percent to Dragonite, which is really sad. <laughs> considering it's four times weak to it, right? Uh, but, oh, 60 to 72%, that's not even bad. So that's rocks plus a fake out. Uh, however, Outrage destroys, absolutely destroys my um, my Sea King. However, ever, uh, I do have options for that as well. Like Ice Shard from Alolan Sand Slash, for instance. So we're gonna lead off with Clefable. We're gonna attempt to get up rocks. This Aerodactyl may taunt me. It may end up taunting me. If it actually does, uh, I'll just have to damage it from there with Ice Beam twice. Because I can get up rocks on maybe Starmie. So, very good taunt on my opponent's part. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with that though. Taunt ends after two attacks. So, I'll just Ice Beam twice. If they want to go for the rocks here. The only way I could have been, this turn could have been better for me is if I actually did attack. But because I value rocks in the long term things, they actually switch uh, into an Ice Beam. Interesting. Gyarados, okay. They go Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados does threaten me, but I do have a Poly... No, this no, I got rid of Polyrath for Seeking on this build. Good chunk, though. Definitely value that damage, too. Hmm. We're gonna make the Dragonite play. Especially because their Outrage answers are really non-existent, and there's no way you crunch a Clefable. I resist it. Uh, I don't think you'll Dragon Tail it because I'm, I'm a Fairy-type. Uh, I think at worst you go for uh, the, the Waterfall here. Uh, maybe, maybe crunch after, but yeah. Throws off a waterfall. I can see them dragon telling me. However, I do value this damage on Gyarados. This is one of the Pokemon that can actually take a hit uh, from my uh, from my team. So if they want to dragon tail, they taunt me so I can agility. I'm okay with that. Uh, especially because, like I said, I need damage on this thing for Seeking to do anything. So step one towards maybe a Seeking endgame is there, especially with all that damage on Gyarados. They might crunch me here. They might waterfall for a little bit of damage. They may try and go for dragon tail, but obviously that's not going to work because Outrage is going to work. And they don't really switch into this attack either. It's Outrage from Dragonite. Well, things are looking okay. Uh, only thing would have been a little bit better is I got some damage off on the Aerodactyl. Uh, because Aerodactyl can actually live a hit. Uh, from my Sea King. However, if I get up rocks, an Aerodactyl would drop anyway. Yeah, I made my Sea King Lonely Nature too. So they end up switching out, which is maybe a misplay because... Uh, yes, Zapdos does tank outrage but this is also something i need weaken like I'm, i don't mind this and i unfortunately for my opponent get a huge crit that is absolutely huge that is absolutely huge and my eye doctor is calling me which means my contacts are in awesome i have one pair left i need those <laughs> uh but that is such a huge crit for me uh, getting rid of Zapdos, Sea King might actually be able to do this, and they go Dragonite too. Uh oh, if I get this, if I win this B tie, I think Sea King wins. And if they go for Outrage of their own, I can bring out. Yeah, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, because I can go Clefable and just Ice Beam here and then get a Brox after. Yeah, so that was like the best series of turns. I get in Clefable now. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Beam first because it, it guarantees the damage on Dragonite, right? Actually, I'm gonna Moon Blast first instead of Ice Beam. Because if anything, I can knock it out with uh, Sea King's Ice Beam. So they're locked in Outrage here. That means they didn't have Ice Beam on their Starmie, by the way. Uh, which is really unfortunate for them. Yeah, locked in so they couldn't do anything. Obviously, me being a fairy type, I'm immune. I opted to go for Moon Blast over, uh, over Ice Beaming because I want to be able to get up rocks on this Dragonite. Whereas Ice Beam might have actually KO'd. Um, I can get up rocks in this thing, especially if they switch, yep. So rocks mean Gyarados goes down. Hold up, this might be it. This might be it. This might be the opportunity for me to agility up with my uh, with my Sea King. Is it? No, I gotta do it on Starmie. Starmie needs to take a hit and then I gotta do it on Starmie. So I'll just Moon Blast here. Yeah, I don't mind that. I have to do it on Starmie, because Starmie... Basically, Starmie, once it takes one hit, uh, after an agility sweep, I should be good. Like, Mega Horn, I have Waterfall for the Aerodactyl. I set up in Starmie's face, Mega Horn twice, and then Waterfall wins. Those rocks are so crucial, too. Yep. Yeah. I want to do it on Starmie. In fact, I would love to go Starmie now, uh, over Aerodactyl or over Alakazam. Just because I can Moonblast them. They could get an Aerodactyl, but again, the rocks are really nice for that... Uh, that agility sweep. So I see it. So I got very lucky with that crit on Zapdos. Super, super lucky. Like very, very, very lucky. We just Ice Beam here. If they Mega Evolve, then they'll uh, they'll tank the Ice Beam. I should be able to tank a Rock Slide too. And this should put them in range of Fake Out from my Kangaskhan. Perfect. That was Moonblast here. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I click at this point. Uh, actually, what I want to do is I want to force them to star me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow them to sack this. I'm going to allow them to take this out, right? Uh, please land. Nice. This will allow me to bring out my Sand Slash. And what Sand Slash can do is with Rocks and Ice Shard Chip on star me, I, I knock it out and I win the end game with my Seeking. So... I'm trying to get that Seeking to do something in this game. Yeah, and they're basically forced into Star Me on, on Sand Slash. So I Ice Shard here. That knock out Aerodactyl. I mean, they could switch, but rocks are up. Yeah, so that, guys, that, that, that crit on the, uh, that crit on Zathos was huge. Absolutely huge. And I, I am sorry for that, Jack. I really am. So now they bring out Starmie. I Ice Shard once, uh, just in case they burn me with Scald, and then from there I can agility, uh, I can Earthquake spam if they do burn me with Scald. Um, I don't think they, I don't think they bring out Zam because again I do beat it on typing alone. So the Ice Shard damage, right, from Adam and Ice Shard plus Rocks guarantees this dies to Mega Horn, uh, assuming it's not a bulky Starmie. And yeah, like I said, I just Ice Shard. That's the chip I need for Mega Horn. I even get a crit on that, which is crazy. And they go for Thunderbolt, predicting my Seeking. I get Parrot, uh, which is whatever. That was Earthquake. They're gonna Thunderbolt here. They're trying to catch my, uh, they're definitely trying to catch my, um, my what's it called? My Seeking, but I'm not gonna go hard into it. And I'll SD, because if they recover, basically, uh, plus two Ice Shard. Plus two Ice Shard makes sure they die to, um, make sure they die to Megahorn anyway. I don't mind them Thunderbolting three times. They, they must have had Hydro Pump, they didn't want to risk it. Anyway, don't get paralyzed Seeking, because Seeking, you live this hit, and then hit two Megahorn so I win the game with you. Please, I want you to do something. Last time I could not get you to do anything. Let's see. Don't, I mean, you always live this hit. You have good speed up. But it's more about not getting paralyzed. Nice. And it's also about, you need to hit, it's also about hitting, um, Megahorn. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure... Come on, buddy. You gotta hit two. Let's go. It's the one that matters. It's like if I didn't, like, hacks my opponent with Outrage, this is what I was going for in the end game later as well. Um, but I think that Starmie was the best bet for me to set up on. And now Kazam is gonna come out. I think Kazam is actually faster than me. <laughs> no, 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 I should be faster than Zam. I should be faster than Zam. No, I think Zam is actually faster than me. Uh, what is my speed? 88? No, uh, if it's Timid Zam, it's like a few points faster than me. That's unfortunate, huh? Oh, well. That really is unfortunate. Oh, he messed up. I, I guess what he's trying to do is he has to pray I miss. So he can win the game with, uh, so he can win the game with Combine Zam anyway, because he's not beating through Kangaskhan and Snorlax. Hey, that's fine though. Seeking denying that, I don't mind that. See, so yeah, at that point, I think he had to Combine actually. I get it, because he wasn't winning the game without boosting with Zam. I had Snorlax to, to boom on it. I had Kangaskhan, which just doesn't care. I just fake out into Facade Spam. Dragonite comes out, goes down to rocks. All right, so Seeking got its own little mini sweep at the end. I guess I needed um. Is it Jolly that I need on, uh... Yeah, I need Jolly to outspeed Alakazam. But that means I'm so much weaker with my Megahorn, which I don't like. No, I'm gonna keep going with Lonely. That's fine. Because it lives at Psychic from Zam as well, which is important too. But yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna look for another game. Luckily, Sea King did something there. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got a game. Um... Sea King is really just gonna click Waterfall maybe like once. Maybe Megahorn on Starmie could be cool. I do think that Kangaskhan is incredible in this and uh, that the fact that Hitmonlee doesn't get Ice Punch is very good in this game too. Uh, if I weaken their... If I weaken their Beedrill or their Clefable, Dragonite kind of just wins too. I gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, fighting types in particular are pretty threatening to this build because I just put some Pokemon together and kind of just swap some things out. I have like a little habit of bringing Mono Week to fighting and hope they don't bring like that one guy with the Hitmonchan, man. But agility Hitmonchan nonetheless. But I have Clefable to help check it. Uh, the reason I'm leading off a of Kangaskhan is because Beedrill is a pretty good lead versus me. In my opinion. Uh, they actually decide I'm just going to go all in right now and lead off with Hitmon Lee. <laughs> and unfortunately, because I am adamant Kangaskhan, this gets a little bit scarier. I'll make a and fake out here. Every bit of damage on this thing is going to be very important. Very, very crucial. Um, I don't know if they're going to have Poison Jab on their Hitmonlee. That did so much. I don't think Sucker Punch knocks them out. I did crit them turn 1, which is pretty nasty. Uh, they were already range of this, so we'll make the Clefable play. I think this was the biggest threat to my team besides Beedrill, and they kind of should not have let off with it versus Kangaskhan and stayed in to take a fake out, regardless of the crit. If I was Jolly, they'd die here. As they go for Bulk Up. Ooh. Interesting that they went for Bulk Up. They either anticipated me to switch into Clefable, or they just don't care. Alright, we'll get up our rocks here. Because my next fake out into Sucker Punch should knock him out. Clefable thankfully survives. And rocks were very, very, very crucial too. So I'm okay with that. Uh, rocks were very crucial for Beedrill, for Starmie, for Zapdos. So my Kangaskhan should be able to knock out Hitmonlee with a uh, fake out into Sucker Punch, I want to say, even with the bulk up boost. Yeah, in fact, Fake Out might just knock him out anyway after the crit. So, bro, Kangaskhan here. Clefable did its job. I literally just needed rocks. Rocks are the difference between 2 hit KOing their Clefable with Earthquake from Adam and Dragonite. And that crit turn 1 actually ended up helping me. Like, if, had I not gotten that crit turn 1, I probably would have had to... Uh, I, I probably would have had to go for um, Moonblast over rocks with Clefable. Alright, Sucker Punch knocks him out. And it also doesn't care about their speed. They're going for bulk ups here. Oof. You know what's crazy? They're probably adamant too. I got, I got, let me just see that damage they did to Michael Fable and I can find out right now. Because I am just going to click Sucker Punch repeatedly. I think that's my best play.
They did so much to Clef, man. They might have actually been adamant. Sucker Punch still KOs them. And Moth Punch doesn't exist. They really try to outplay my suckers, but Sucker will still KO. I'm worried, but I have eight of these, so... Like, even if they get to... Even if they keep boosting, I'm pretty sure I'll still knock them out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make the safe play. I'm gonna keep making the safe play. I have eight of these. And I only need, like, one for... <laughs> For what, Starmie? And I have Facade for that too? And I can lose the game if I risk it on the them being Jolly versus Adamant. Even if they get plus six, I'm pretty sure this knocks them out. Wait a second. Is Adamant Mega Kangaskhan in this game faster than this? Hold up, I might have messed up. I thought him only was a little fast. It shouldn't be faster than this, but maybe because it's level 50 I'm faster. Because Adamant Mega Kangaskhan at level 100 would hit uh, 299 speed, whereas him only Jolly hits... Um... Wow, I'm faster. That's awesome. Guaranteed. Didn't even see that. Yeah, forget you. Go ahead and do your bulk ups. That was my bad. I was remember at level 100, guys. So at level 100, uh, a Jolly hit only without speed and Adamant Kangaskhan. But I guess at level 50. Yeah. Did they slow hit my... What? But 252 investment, it should be 300 versus 299. Oh, it's only faster when it has EVs. Oh man, let's go messing that guy up. That's, that's crazy. I need damage on you. Let's go actually mess that guy up. <laughs> the way Let's Go works. Yeah, but this this works towards a drag, an outrage sweep. That's insane. So the way it works, so so basically, uh, EVs are, you know, what you put into your stat to get you uh, stronger. But because Hitmon... Man, I'm so lucky. Because, uh, because Hitmon Lee doesn't have EVs in this game, uh, I'm always faster. That's crazy. That, there's a lot of times that I haven't gone for a move because and I wasn't aware of, like, certain things because of it. That's so crazy. Also, that crit uh, with Stealth Rock up, it's it was only a 43% chance to do a KO with Stealth Rock, so that crit definitely mattered. And now I do a KO Clef. So I'm okay with that, because again, my Dragonite can now click Outrage. They also don't deal with Clef either. Uh, Starmie needs a little bit more damage on it. Zapdos needs some damage too. I think all I do is click Facade, and I might be able to win this game. Wow, I'm learning something new too. It's awesome. I love learning something new, especially in the middle of a game. That's awesome. Big Beedro comes out. Don't think this has... Like any leeway or any freedom versus me. I think I just keep clicking Facade. Uh, if he Mega Evolves in U-Turns, that doesn't really matter. Uh, my Alolan Sandslash also kind of just wins too. So there's a few ways I have to break through my opponent. Yeah, so whatever's coming in is taking this full power facade. Not really, it's 70 base power. But I do like damage on Beedrill. Really nice for Ice Shard for later. And they go Snorlax too, nice. I want to see how I want to play this endgame, because I think I want to explode on the... Uh... I might want to explode on the on the Zapdos. I honestly think because my Sand Slash and my Snorlax can beat their entire team, I can just keep staying in and clicking Facade here as they go for Superpower. Doesn't even knock me out. Your boy survives on one. Oof! And I can knock him out with my next one. And I have Sucker Punch for Beedro too, which they've seen, so they shouldn't go Beedro. Don't do not go Beedro. You gotta go Zapdos after. So Snorlax going down. Also amazing for Sea King. I don't mind them going star me here. And then me just agility just to get a little bit of damage on them. I don't mind them going Zapdos either, but they have to be timid, otherwise it's speed tie. Your level 50 be messing up some things. It's crazy. They do go Zapdos, which is a good play. It's 
So what I actually want to do here, because I want to win the game with uh, Seeking, uh, I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch as opposed to Facade. Uh, because what Sucker Punch does is it does just a little bit of chip. Uh, it does a little bit of chip to the point where if they if they switch out, right? If they switch out, because I'm going Sand Slash and I'm clicking Ice Punch. If they switch out, it puts them in range of my... Uh, it puts them in range of my Seeking after Agility is up. So we're bringing out Sand Slash now. I can just click Ice Punch, even if they Roost, whatever. I go for Ice Punch here. Uh, as they Roost, it's... Roost is a little bit more annoying, but it's okay. Because this still does a good chunk. Yeah, that's, that's still the damage I want. Wow, that does so much. So I'll SD here. Because if they Thunderbolt, that's fine too. Um, SD doesn't allow them to bring out Starmie on me. I have them in Rock's range of... I believe that's in Rock's range of uh, the... The Sea King probably be a little bit close considering Sea King is kind of weak, but I am Lonely, which is equivalent to Adamant, so I'm attack boosting. Mm. Uh, either way, SD was my play. Yep, go for that Ice Shark. Go knock out Zapdos if they bring out their. Uh, if they bring out their Starmie, I at least forced out the Zapdos. Uh, if they bring out Starmie, they take the two Ice Shards, which is what I need for my... Well, I mean, them taking Ice Shard on Starmie either way is... I'm going for Ice Shard on Starmie regardless, because, again, that's the difference between Megahorn knocking them out or not. And I have outs to win even if Megahorn misses. Though, ideally, it doesn't, of course. So, they gotta go Starmie now. They're gonna take the Rocks. They're gonna take the Ice Shard. Yep. They're gonna take the Rocks. They're gonna take the Ice Shard, and that puts them in range of Megahorn. And then maybe Sea King wins. Nice late game, Sea King. Ice Shard guarantees the damage. There's no setup move that Starmie goes for. Well, imagine setup Starmie. Oof. That little bit of chip matters. I bring out the Sea King. Bring out the boy. Unfortunately, Mega Beedro is still faster than me, even after agility, unless it's adamant. <laughs> unfortunately. Very unfortunate. But I mean, I'm going to agility up anyway because... Yeah, so maybe you should run Jolly or, or like a, a speed bo boosting Seeking, but I don't know, man. I want to I wanna try. Like, I, It has good enough Spadef to live this. No para. There's the agility again. E nice and fast. All right, now I want you to hit this Megahorn so I don't have to worry about anything. Hopefully it's Adam and Beedrill, which I don't think it should be. Nice. Like, I like the plus attack nature because it's the damage I need for Starmie. I'm happy that we fought Starmies too, because I, I feel like that's something that people have been straying away a little bit, myself included. Um, so I'm happy that we fought one. And then if the Beedrill is adamant, if the Beedrill is indeed adamant, I am faster. If it's Jolly, well, I mean, it should always be Jolly, though, because it wants to be faster than Gengar and stuff. Waterfall. They're going to Poison Jab and knock me out. Be adamant. Come on. I'm trying to get Sea King to get another KO. I mean, this is the most you're going to see out of Sea King anyway. Base 68 speed, man. Nothing. Not sure what they're thinking about. Ah. Unfortunately, my opponent is the good nature on, on Beedrill. But uh, they revealed X Scissor, which means that they more than likely do not have Outrage. So that means I can just go out into Big Dragonite and click Outrage and end the game. Show my frustration that my uh, that my Sea King was only able to knock out Starmie, which is still good. I mean, either way, that's still good. Never mind. Big Sea King. Poison Jab, U-Turn, X Scissor, Drill Run. This is why, even though X Scissor is good, I really do like Outrage, especially on Wi-Fi, because Dragonite's always late game coming out. Especially on this, it gets opportunities to come out on this. But yeah, quick Outrage here, that should be game. Not sure what my opponent's thinking about. Yeah, you have to click your best move versus me. Hey, not bad. 
Alright, so I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, Seeking did very little, but I mean, I was trying to use it as a late game cleaner in it. Unfortunately, I fought two Megas who are always faster than me. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. You guys can check out the playlist down below to see any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, as well as the guide to team building, if team building is something you want to work on. Um, and, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends. This is a fun one.